Welcome to week two in the Acadiana High School football forecast on the Acadiana Post Game Show. I'm your host, Greg Larner. Week one was fun, and from an entire week one, here's our player of the week from the Acadiana area, and it's from the Acadiana Reckon Rams. Running back Dylan Monette in a 28-6 win over Karen Crow. He had 22 rushes for 195 yards and not one, not two, but three touchdowns, 32 yards, 68 yards, and a two-yard score. So your player of the week, Dylan Monette. All right, let's take a look at three big matchups coming up in week two around the Acadiana area. First and foremost, the Lafayette High Mighty Lions take on the St. Martinville Tigers. Both teams got a win in week one. And with the Lafayette High Mighty Lions, I thought they'd be improved this year. But damn, they rolled over Generet 66 to 20. A couple guys to watch out for for the Lions. It's got to be in the backfield. When you look at running back Jason Sam, that might be their best offensive weapon. He had three touchdowns on the ground in week one. Also, Derez Landry is another guy to look out for. And for the Tigers, they got a nice win in week one, 25 to 12 over Cecilia. A couple of key players to watch out for in this matchup, quarterback, senior quarterback, I should say, Brian Wiltz. He's only 5'3", 155 pounds, but don't let that size fool you. He's very shifty, very good. He can get outside the pocket and he can beat you with his legs. Also, look out for freshman free safety, Mandrill Butler. He's very active, and somehow he always seemed to be around the ball in week number one. All right, let's look at our second game of the week, and it's coming to you on ESPN 1420. It's Acadiana against Rustin. Acadiana won in week one over Karen Crow, as I mentioned earlier, 28 to six, and for Rustin, they lost in week one. For the Rams, the defense held down a good Karen Crow team that really showed out in the Jamboree game, and they held them a couple of times deep in Ram territory. As I said earlier, Dylan Monette was a stud in this game with the three rushing touchdowns. Lucky Brooks also ran hard, and away the offense and the beer machine went. And for the Bearcats, they fell in a heartbreaker 21 to 20 against Neville last week. The defense forced four interceptions all in the first half though. Players to watch out for, senior quarterback Jared Jaden Procell and running back Katrivion Hargrave. And the third game I'm watching this week, it's our game of the week. It's Turlings at Archbishop Hannon and you can hear it on Newstalk 965. KPEL. And for the Rebels, they got a nice victory over Como 35 14. It was a little bit of an unlucky slash sloppy start where they, they turned the ball over once and the ball just didn't bounce their way another time and, and they got down 14 0 early in this game. But then the offense came alive with quarterback Samuel LeBlanc and all the offensive weapons seemed to contribute in this one. They rattled off 35 unanswered points in this one. And how about a guy like RJ Tripp, the former, former Como Spartan, made a big momentum shifting play in the second quarter on a fourth and five on a fake punt, ended up picking up a first down, and that really shifted the game around for the Rebels. And for the Hawks, they fell in a heartbreaker in overtime to Shaw Met, 43-42. Players to watch out for for Archbishop Hannon as junior quarterback Barrett Taylor. He's got a good arm, he's got good mobility, seems to be a dual threat type of quarterback. You also have to look out for senior captain who plays wide receiver and tight end, Evan Beschel. He's an excellent blocker and willing to do the little things to help his team win. So that's what we're looking out for in week number two of high school football action. This has been week two of the high school football forecast on the Acadiana Post Game Show. I'm your host, Greg Larnard.